it goes back to the question, does chiropractic care move the vertebra and increase joint mobility, or does it affect change in the body neurophysiologically? And that's really what it does. So even in the speech, you know, BJ can say, palpation, x-rays, taut and tender fibers, contracted muscles only locate misalignments. So we're just dealing yet again with the structural component of the subluxation. Okay, we're not really, you can't really, by palpation, you're not going to see the neurological component. By x-rays, you're not going to see the neurological component. So we just got to reposition ourselves. And I know people get upset with that, but we got to reposition ourselves and get people to really fully understand, and only then when they fully understand will they commit to care with their family. So let's talk about stress for a minute. And now in the office, we do the stress response evaluation with the neuroinfinity. So as we start to talk about stress, we want to, because stress is how your body physiologically reacts to a stressor. The stressors are the unchangeable things, like the change in weather, trauma, um, the physical, chemical, emotional stressors we do, whether that's uh, winning a lottery, whether that's being chased by a bear, having a deadline at work, all of these things are stressors. How our body reacts to that is an instrumental part, but that's the only part that we can change. So what happens in a stress response? Well, if I'm standing there and a, and, and a bear just jumped out of the woods and I have to go into fight or flight mode and everything's degrees of severity. So whether I'm doing a task, um, whether that be a math problem, I am having a conversation with somebody, an in-depth conversation, I'm reading a book, I am being chased by a bear. Everything's in degrees of severity, but certain things happen, right? So if I'm being chased by a bear, certain things like my heart's going to increase, my respiration's going to increase, my hands are going to get cold. My hands are going to get clammy. Adrenaline starts coursing through my system. My stomach will stop digesting. My sexual function, reproduction function will stop. All of this is under stress in the attempts for the body to protect itself, as is cholesterol level increases. Right? So that bear goes away, and now I am safe. My body has to come back to a resting level. My body has to come back down to a healing, rest, recovery, repair phase. So all of those things have to reverse, like it's saying in here, right? Adrenaline has to stop coursing through the system. You can go back to digesting your food. Reproduction can start again. Your hands should warm up. Your hands should dry off. Your heart rate should slow down. Your respiration should slow down. That's how you readily adapt to your environment. An inability to either respond appropriately or recover appropriately is a state of dis-ease. When you're in a state of dis-ease long enough, you're in a state of disease. And people really get this. Because now we're really helping them understand why they have these multitude of issues going on in their life. It's an improperly functioning immune, I mean, uh, nervous system, which is also suppressing the immune system. So it's all about appropriateness of action and efficiency of the nervous system. And what does chiropractic do? That's what we do. We fix the nervous system. We put it in a state of ease. When you put the body in a state of ease, it increases its efficiency, which in turn also increases its immune response. So we've got to have people, to give the, people the opportunity to understand what it is, that physiological reaction to their environment that's ultimately making them sick, and why chiropractic is the best place to be if you're in that mode, is we access that nervous system, put it in a state of ease. And this is just some of the stuff in the office to help people understand how the body works. We go on to the next one here, and this is one of the epiphanies I had with uh, Dr. Barwell. Um, when I was first showed this instrumentation, I said, this is, this is great stuff, but I'm a, I, I, I'm a little stuck. And I was even stuck in that structural model at a point. And then he showed me this 4K study. And I'm sure many of you have read it. And if you don't have access to it, I'm sure you can ask Dee, Dee and she'll tell you where um, you can get access to it. I think you probably get it through uh, the WCA. But in the 4K study, Dr. Richard Barwell took over 100 individuals. And what he wanted to do was, what is the greatest effect we have on the nervous system. What is it that chiropractic is truly doing? So what he did was he measured somebody's brainwave activity in a three-dimensional picture. So this is somebody's brainwave activity, both hemispheres of their brain in three-dimensional view. So as we start to go on with this, we can see each individual brainwave. Don't worry about the brainwaves right now, but these are each individual brainwave that encompasses each hemisphere. Okay. So what he did was he started to take individuals in this study and he started to escape their brain. Now, remember what we just looked at. That was a pretty active brain. I will, I'll bring it backwards one more time so you can kind of see that's what a normal brain looks like, right? That's a normal, functioning, efficient, healthy brain. As we start to go through this, we look. Well, there's an individual, right? That's both hemispheres of that individual's brain. 
Well, they wanted to see if the chiropractic adjustment had anything to do with brain activity. So they took this person off. They adjusted no more than two segments. And in each one of the studies, certain people had different adjustments. They did it soft touch. They did it instrument adjusting. And some of them were done by hand. And they wanted to see what are the different effects of each technique. And what have they found? This is that very same person 25 minutes later. Now that's a pretty drastic change in brain activity. So forget bone or nerve for a minute. This has nothing to do with uh, two bones or misaligned, which is impinging on an individual spinal nerve. This is when you go into that nervous system, you invoke a change to the point where it actually alters brainwave activity. That's pretty profound. That's extremely profound. So you just changed this individual's whole perception of their world and their environment through a basic chiropractic adjustment. And for me, that was a pretty profound and professional shift I made at that point. So we've got to give more credence to what it is that we do every day. So as we go on through this, we see here's another individual in the study. Okay? That brain wave was obviously better than the first one we just saw, but what happened after an adjustment? Boom. Again, always showing improvement. And this went on case after case. You're changing somebody's life every time you go in there and you put your hands on the spine and make a correction. Here's another one. That's almost a non-functional brain completely. We come over here. Now, is that a dramatic change? For this individual it is. It doesn't look that much different in, a, in some people can make the argument. But let me tell you, that's a lot more active than this one on the left. That's an active brain. Do you have a long way to go? Absolutely. This person has a long way to go to correct all of this. But that's only one adjustment, one, no more than two segments. We've got to stimulate these brains to get them active. Now, the one on the left has probably a multitude of diseases. The one on the right isn't is it healthier, but I mean, we've got a long way to go. That's why we have care plans. Here's another one. And this goes on and on and on, each one showing drastic changes. How long this person can hold that correction, we don't really know. And that's the purpose of a care plan. That's the purpose of follow-ups. That's the purpose of getting people well, getting them to change their brain activity through what we do every day. And now you're showing people, listen, our effect is pretty broad. If we can affect your brainwave activity, we've got to make sure that that brainwave activity is growing roots and holding. Okay? So now they, they have a better understanding. It's not just about changing their posture. It's about changing their world and their outlook in life. And it goes on. Here's one. Here's the next one. Okay? Drastic changes. And that's what we do. Getting, this is how we get people well. This is why chiropractic works. And the greatest thing is with the neuroinfinity, although we're not doing it in a three-dimensional picture, we are measuring brainwave activity. And that is our goal how the brain functions. So we actually blew this up into a poster, and it's hanging in our wall. So people always ask, well, what is this? You know, and during my report, I pull it down, and I use it as part of my doctor's report, saying, listen, we can change lives. This is what we do. And the greatest thing is we take, we've measured your brainwave activity, so we know how your brain is functioning. And then in turn, improper brainwaves lead to improper ability of the body to coordinate all the different systems. The healthier the brain, the better the coordination between systems. I mean, if people get this, we have three neuropsychologists in the office who think this is the greatest thing ever. And it was haphazard that they fell into our door. But once we show them this, they said, this is phenomenal. 